That's beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Father. What's your... Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening to all of you. Thank you for joining. Uh, in this video, we are, I'm going to talk about why yoga is a problem for Christians. Uh, so if you're someone who is practicing yoga or who, who is thinking of practicing yoga during this lockdown time, uh, this is a video you should definitely watch. Um, we will try to uh, you know discuss and uh, jot out the Catholic position uh, on yoga. So I have chosen two videos for this uh for this discussion. One is for, by Father Vincent Lampert. He recently spoke, uh, Matt Fried interviewed him and uh, he asked him about yoga. And uh, so Father Vincent Lampert is an exhaust, exorcist in the United States of America. So let's see what he has to say. And uh, the second video is a video which I did uh, three, four, uh, three years back. Uh, I, I did a lot of research on yoga and I put out a video and there I talk about why the spirituality of yoga, which it derives from Hinduism, is not compatible with the uh, Christian faith. Um, so those are the two videos uh, that we are going to use for our discussion today. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting one, so stick around. So I'm going to play Father Vincent Lampert's uh, interview with Matt Frad, a very short clip, and uh, we, uh, I, I would specifically like to share three important points on what he is sharing. So here is Matt Frad asking Father Vincent Lampert the question about yoga. Let's hear them. And uh, not just your opinion, but I guess your educated opinion as you uh, engage in exorcisms of yoga. I find it difficult to demonize yoga, but I'm open to doing it if you help me do it. <laughs> uh, it seems to me that if somebody is uh, engaging in certain stretches, uh, that that you know uh, that this isn't uh, intrinsically evil at all. I don't know how it could be to use your body to stretch in a certain way. So that's a very important point which Matt Fred is making. Uh, if you're just you know, stretching your body and you're sitting in certain postures, what you usually do in yoga, how can a stretch or a position be intrinsically evil? So that's the point he's making. So as long as an uh, act is not intrinsically evil, you can't you know, make, it a, make a blanket statement saying that no matter how you do it, when you do it, uh, it's, a, it's a evil. So that's the point Matt Fred is uh, trying to make. How can a posture or an exercise uh, can be intrinsically evil so but i also know people who are involved in in your line of work to a lesser degree who would say no absolutely it's a gateway drug to the demonic cut it out immediately don't be pussyfooting around with sin so tell us your opinion on yoga if well, you have one i do have an opinion okay <laughs> and i and i will say this at first i i also think it's it's not healthy to always see the demonic everywhere because then we're giving the devil too much credit I do think that you okay so i would like to stop there so before we go into any of the discussion i think it's very important that we understand what father vincent lampert is saying there it is uh, it's not you know a healthy thing to you know kind of demonize everything that we see in the culture everything that we see in other religions uh, and uh, you know everything that we see outside uh, outside christianity whatever practice or cultural norms that could be so so we should stop demonizing everything that is an extreme fundamentalist view. Uh, so, But at the same time, we have to take caution. We have to see what the church is saying about it, what principle the church is trying to give, and then analyze whatever we are trying to analyze under that lens. So, uh, so sir, the CDF, the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith, also makes this statement in regards to, you know, it, it's not very specific to yoga, but in regards to yoga, it's uh, in regards to any kind of posture, it says, the adoption of a particular physical posture, even if originating in a religious or a philosophical system foreign to Christianity, is permissible provided the posture is severable from the religion or philosophy that first motivated it. Its use then becomes possible in Christian freedom. And indeed, the church has baptized even pagan practices that were not intrinsically linked to paganism. So... This is a uh, this is a very very important point. That's beautiful. Uh, Thank you so much. That for we all have to understand that we cannot demonize everything. If the church has given, you know, sees that the particular thing is not intrinsically evil, then the church can baptize it, and uh, you know, Christians can uh, are welcome to use it. Uh, so if that is the case, then what is the problem with yoga? I mean, I mean, that's the question that you all have. So now listen to what Vincent Lampert is. Uh, talking about yoga, what is the problem behind yoga? Thing that could be suspect and could 
say this at first. I, I also think it's, it's not healthy to always see the demonic everywhere because then we're giving the devil too much credit. Yeah. I do think that yoga could be something that could be suspect and could be an entry point because you know the exercises are not the issue. The question would be the spirituality that's exactly. tied with it. I yeah. see. And can the average person make the distinction between the exercises and the spirituality? And maybe the person begins initially just for the exercises. Mm. I think that's probably right. But then they become intrigued by the spirituality that's yep. with it. Mm. That's the subtle way I think the devil sometimes works is, you know, he makes it look appealing. There's, this, you know, the fruit in the garden again. Did God really tell you not to do this? So he can kind of lure us in, and then it's once we get pulled in, and all of a sudden we see the different layers that go with it. So like with the practice of yoga, you know, we learn that you know the different postures and poses are actually forms of um, worshiping different demons. So I hear... Okay, so I would like to stop there. So at this point in time, some of you might be thinking, see, I've been practicing yoga. Um, so what is wrong with, I mean, even even let's say, you know, of course, we all know that it, uh, it is derived from Hinduism. So let's say uh, I have a bit of, uh, you know, spirituality that is, uh, you know, kind of uh, connected with yoga. What is the big deal, you might ask? Like, what is the problem if it is, uh, you know, if the spirituality is tied to these physical exercise? So... So that's where I would like to bring up, bring out the video that I did. See, the uh, spirituality of Hinduism is totally not compatible with the Christian faith. So if that is the case, then how can we comfortably do something which is derived from that spirituality? So, uh, so I make three points why um, the spirituality of yoga in turn Hinduism is not compatible with, uh, with the Christian faith. So these are the three points which I make. So unlike other exercises, yoga has two dimensions to it. The physical postures and the spirituality that powers it. I have found it really useful for my understanding to analyze yoga under these two lenses, the physical postures and the spirituality. First, let's see through the lens of spirituality. As we all know, yoga flows from Hinduism. So let's hold up their philosophy against the Catholic teaching. First question. What does Hinduism teach about God? Well, it proposes a philosophy of monoism, which states that there is no distinction between God and His creation. Both are one and the same. Which is why we see Hindus worship elements of creation like the sun, the trees and animals. Well, the Catholic Church would disagree and say, God is neither part of creation nor one among creation, but the very essence of being itself. Even though all of creation reflect God in some way or the other, they are not one and the same. God is the creator and we are his creation, which is why worship belongs only to God the creator and not the creation. Second question, what does Hinduism teach about the human body? Well, it proposes the philosophy of Gnosticism. Gnosticism states that everything that is material is bad, which includes our body and only spiritual matters. So it basically says that human beings are spirits trapped in a material body and our life journey is to free ourselves from this bodily prison. But the Catholic Church would disagree and say, the body is good. Human beings are body-soul union. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says, the unity of body and soul is so profound that one has to consider the soul to be the form of the body. So our body is good. Very, very good. Third question, what does Hinduism teach about prayer? Well, it says, Prayer is all about freeing of one's energy, quietening of the mind and focusing on the self to attain enlightenment. So it basically says prayer is all about you. But the Catholic Church would vehemently disagree and say that prayer is raising of one's mind and heart to God and the way we commune with Him. And it's definitely not just about you. So in conclusion, can a Catholic practice yoga for meditation or for spiritual exercise? The answer is a resounding no because the spirituality of yoga is not compatible with the catholic faith and runs contrary to the first commandment that's beautiful thank you so much for so uh so just like to uh so that's the video that i did three years back so there i clearly i know bring out the point why uh, the uh, spirituality of yoga is not compatible with the christian faith so if you have been a little lethargic in terms of this in terms of uh, discerning this you know the things spiritual things that are attached to the physical exercise i think now is a good uh, time to 
uh, think about those things and discern if uh, you know those are you know you should be doing those things um so uh, so the next thing that i would uh, talk uh, like to you know continue of course continue with the discussion of what father for the one center saying so anybody who has any confusion regarding the spirituality please now you can be clear that the spirituality of yoga is not compatible with the christian faith that's the point that i wanted to try conveying through that video so here uh, manfred is actually making a very good point so let's listen to what he's saying demons so i hear that and it makes me troubled but at the same time i think who the hell are the demons to think they have any kind of monopoly on how i hold my body <laughs> exactly. do you know what i mean like just because mm. certain people intended to worship the demons through a certain pose uh, surely that doesn't mean i'm no longer able to make a certain posture just because it happened to be the way these people worship demons but you might be indifferent is that you're really grounded in your faith okay but how many people are really grounded in their faith i, I think there's a lot of people today i think even the former archbishop in Philadelphia archbishop charles chapu mm. made the comment that there's a lot of people today that wear the label of being a christian but they do not know the person of jesus christ maybe they're just going through the motions of their faith they show up at church on sunday and you know it's kind of like punching a time clock and then they leave so i think there's a big difference between somebody who's well grounded in their faith mm. and somebody that's just going through the motions of their faith yeah. i mean i've i mean i've even had I had a fellow priest tell me one time that you know he was kind of bored with Catholicism. He was going to explore Buddhism. Oh, it's like, so to me, that's an example of you're not on a good path here. Yeah, you're not in a good path. And yeah. when it comes to yoga and things like that, to me, if you're not on a good path, that's probably not the place to be. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I don't think we can underestimate how weak we really are. And when you start uh, congregating with people who hold certain New Age ideas. Uh, maybe we're kidding ourselves to think, well, I can do this a few times a week and I'm not going to be kind of swept up in this, the spiritual. It makes okay, sense. I, I would like to stop here and make a, a, a very important observation. So what Father Vincent is saying is like, you know, you could say that it is only physical exercise, um, you know, so it's fine. Uh, but then uh, how do we know it's only physical exercise? I know very uh, recently I was speaking to one of my friends and he was practicing yoga for a long time. Uh, not for a long time, for the past one year. And he told me that um, he says, he, you know, says the chant Om. Like as he is, you know, doing these exercises, he's chanting the word Om. So then I asked him, what do you mean that you're chanting Om? I mean, what does it mean? Uh, do you know what it means? So he went back, asked his teacher and uh, the te teacher said it is some, you know, it's just part of the exercise. You just do it. And uh, I mean, then I told him, you know, that, you know, uh, um, raises a serious concern. How can you do something without knowing what you're doing? What if it is something that is, you know, to worship? the other gods, uh, you know, Hindu gods, then what, what happens? So then anyway, after that, he stopped using the word and he told his teacher, I just want to do the exercise. I don't want to chant anything. So you see uh, what I'm getting at, right? Like sometimes we might, you know, underestimate um, uh, what, uh, you know, is uh, unintentionally given to us as part of the exercise. And the most important question is, are we in a good spiritual state? And are we, do we have the good Christian formation to discern? what is okay and what is not okay. Uh, like, especially when it, you know, brings in a spirituality to, uh, along with it. So I think we have to be very, very careful um, when we say, okay, we are just doing it as a physical exercise. I mean, for people who say that point, right, I'm, I'm ju just using it as a physical exercise, then why, why are you calling it yoga? Why are you going to a yoga teacher to... Um, you know, do physical exercise. Why can't you do so many other ex exercises which are an alternative to yoga, isn't it? If your intention is just to do physical exercise. I mean, I am, I am and I, I feel, you know, as Catholics, we have to take care of both body and soul. And it's very important that we take care of the body. So I go play basketball. I go for swimming. I go for cycling. I do stretches. So why can't we do that? Why should we get stuck to yoga? And the second question is, which yoga teacher is teaching yoga without its spirituality? I mean, the spirituality is so connected with the physical exercise, right? And then you ask any yoga teacher, that's what they will tell you. Uh, so the first question is, if it's not, if it's just physical exercise, why call it yoga? Second question is, where is the yoga teacher who is teaching um, yoga without the spirituality? And 
I mean, I would just say, you know, if you are not in a good spiritual state and you right now you are not in a place to discern what is good, what is okay, what is not okay, I th- definitely would advise caution on practicing yoga. And, um, you know, you have to discern uh, day by day. And as Matt Frat says, we kind of uh, think, oh, I know everything. I might not fall into it, but you'll never know, especially when you are doing something which you are not fully aware. And we don't know what the teacher is saying. Uh, uh, he's just saying, okay, this was exercise this is the posture this is how you should breathe this is what you should chant okay in this how do i know what is christian what is contrary to the christian faith i mean it's uh, like a very gray area right i mean i've never done any physical postures of yoga so i i mean probably someone who is practicing and still feels it's all okay can you know put a comment and then we can you know discuss that too so the last point of what matt frad is saying i think is very important and when you start uh congregating with people who hold certain new age ideas yeah uh, maybe we're kidding ourselves to think well i can do this a few times a week and i'm yeah. not going to be kind of swept up in this the spiritual aspect of, of mm. this 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 activity i think we get caught up in in deception we haven't alluded to this and uh, some of us can also feel that okay i'm perfectly f- i feel perfectly peaceful doing it i'm just doing it for the physical exercise but 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 the thing is how do we know you know you're just going by your feeling right probably like this per- friend of mine didn't even know that om was not supposed to be said um and he was feeling peaceful about it you know doing the exercise for a long time so okay, anyway am i am i might see uh, so the church has not made a explicit statement that you can't do yoga because as it says if it can be baptized and uh, it it is taught by a christian teacher then probably yeah it's fine but today i don't see any yoga teacher who is not teaching yoga without its spirituality so that's why i think we should take caution and um, so liza thomas i just like to put this uh, comment here and she asks what if i used to practice yoga surya namaskar uh, and um, I stopped it. Is it okay? Do I have to do something about it? So, yeah, I mean, s- since I don't know what Surya Namaskar is, like if Surya Namaskar is the worship of the sun and if the posture is kind of adhering to that particular worship, then I think it's impo- I-, I mean, that's a definite no no, right? Because uh, we do not worship creation. Uh, we only worship the creator. Um you yeah, so yeah i mean the whole concept of surya namaskar is that you are submitting yourself to the sun which uh, they worship so yeah i mean i think it's a personal call and uh, some anyone who has good info on the specific postures uh, you can also put that in the comment section and once i accumulate enough comments you know then we can have a uh, you know renewed discussion on it so everyone who is watching this video who has been practicing yoga the i don't want to like you know trouble you or in, uh, trouble you but i think you should discern and take caution and see if it is worth it are you in a good spiritual good spiritual state do you have the christian formation to discern what is okay and what is not okay anyway so thank you for listening to me i'll um, so looking forward to tomorrow i have a very interesting topic in mind and i also put up a video yesterday about forgiveness uh, uh, a uh, bishop baron's video and how that uh, video changed my life so if you are interested take take a look at it god bless you